match number two from March 17th, 2024 was a good tag team matchup that saw Yuzuki team with Seiya Aida as they talk, took on Waka, Sukiyama, and Hanako. This match was really to focus on Waka and Hanako because they've got an upcoming match for the new blood tag team champions against Seiya Aida and her partner Hanan. So this is a different partner for Seiya Aida here. And all four wrestled tremendously well, including Waka Sukiyama, who gets the pin. Yes, I'm jumping ahead, but holy crap! Waka Sukiyama pinned Yuzuki. Now we know I mean, there's several reasons for that. Number one, Waka and Hanako have an upcoming title shot for the New Blood titles. Number two, Yuzuki is leaving stardom, unfortunately. So the rocket has been taken off of her back, and she is suffering losses more than she ever has. And it will probably stay that way because she will be departing soon, I think, in a number of weeks. But they don't make her go out there and wrestle poorly. She still looked great. She still hit her drop kick. She still hit that rolling arrow, which is a great roll pin-up maneuver. Just something special about that. She looked great. I love Sayaida's jumping axe handle, and when her and her tag partners do it together, they got that in. I especially like how Hanako is coming out there being sort of, not like a rule breaker, but just meaner, just tougher. You know, she used to stand there in the middle of the ring with her pose with her mouth dropped open like she was surprised or something, like someone opened the bathroom door while she was in there. It was weird. Now she jumps up, up on the second turnbuckle and literally growls or screams out into the crowd when she is introduced. It works well. When she comes out, she stands there with her arms folded looking like, I'm just here to kick somebody's ass. And her and cute little Waka Tsukiyama work together because Waka will surprise you with her work. She does the cute little things like hip checking you in the head, you know, using her uh, hind quarters to to hit someone in, to to hit someone in the head, and then shakes her money maker, if you will. So she uses her looks for sure, but she's a solid worker, and she'll surprise you with that. Teaming her with like someone who could almost be a bodyguard type figure works well with her. It's a great dynamic. I've always enjoyed tag teams that have a big guy and a small guy, a big woman and a small woman. I, I, they can work that out. It's tremendous, and these two have worked it out doing combination moves like where um, Hanako will gourd buster Waka on top of an opponent. She'll pick her up and throw her down like a big hard leg drop on her opponent. I love moves like that when you have a big person and a small person and they use them to perfection and I think they're only getting better. Seaida and Yuzuki worked well together. Of course, it would have been even better if it would have been um, Hanan out there, of course, but they're going to save that for the title match. So when Waka and Hanako win, they get in the face of Seaida, tell her they're taking those titles and Aida just looks at them like bring it on. So that was the purpose of this match. It worked well. It was a very good tag team matchup that I enjoyed very much. And it's just nice seeing Waka Tsukiyama actually get a win. Doesn't happen very often.